uh, Carl. So, Carl Martin Joborg? Yeah, that's, that's that's correct. That's correct. So, um, yeah. So you're te- you're telling me. So you're working in at, Sweden with the um, uh, at a company called Greenit. Yeah. Um, we're a small environmental consultant firm, and we work um, with the um, supply chains at the moment. Uh, so you've been looking. At, so it's looking at clothing. You're saying clothing industry, but it's not. It's not about Swedish manufacturing. It, no, it's about it's Swedish brands. The supply chain as well for brands. Yeah. Yeah. So we're securing the um, the supply chains. Yeah. Um, yeah. To say that if they use feathers, for example, say that the feathers come from birds that have only been plucked once, and not that you continue to pluck the feathers. It was a big, big scandal in Sweden a couple of months ago. Yeah. And we were kind of in the afterwards of that. So. Yeah. So, and a lot where you look at water, use of water and things like that in clothing, manu- in the manufacture of clothing, so right down the supply chain. Yeah, um, I'm not, right now I'm sitting there looking at bamboo yeah. to make clothing of bamboo. And it's uh, a lot of research to re- find out is bamboo environmentally sound or is it not? So, it's, uh, it's hard work, but it's really fun as well. It's playing the detective and trying to find the source of, of, uh, <laughs> of the bamboo. So what sort of, I mean, what's your background? How did you end up doing that? Uh, I'm an environmental engineer. Yeah. And then I am kind of gone this squiggly way. Yeah. Uh, and then studied some communications as well. And then I've worked with the business context to create projects between the universities and the yeah. business world. And now i just contacted one of my own my old contacts and uh, heard if he had anything for me and now I help out a bit. So you can help me clear something up maybe, for or sure. maybe not. And so I was in the supermarket with Thomas last night buying buying stuff and I noticed that Sweden has lots of paper bags. So in the co-op we were in, a big superstore, yeah. it was paper bags. And I'd seen somebody recently saying that paper bags aren't a sustainable idea and I, I think they're much better than plastic bags. Is that... Is that something you can... Uh, I think that depends what you do the plastic bags uh, from. If yeah. you do plastic bags from old plastic bags, then it should be quite all right. Probably better than... Uh, and probably use less water and, and uh, chemicals in the process. Yeah. yeah. So. Do, you, do you think we'll ever have a time... So we've got these T-shirts down here. Uh, with our actual T-shirts. And um, will there ever be a time where you can actually get a... An actual, you know, oh, there's a label on this which actually tells you a whole bunch of things about the environmental statistics, facts and figures about the manufacture and distribution of that product. I think so. And I don't really think that it's uh, too far into the future. I mean, because we as consumers are becoming more aware that we have an impact when we buy clothing, for example. And we want to buy, as, or at least I want to buy, as environmentally sound products as possible yeah. uh, and if I can buy a t-shirt or a pair of trousers or jeans or whatever that's where you can follow the whole thing that what's the environmental impact of the clothing yeah. and, uh, do you do, do you, and do you know if you know when people are trying to source so say say we're trying to source clothing that's that that has a certain kind of environmental footprint to low footprint um, are there ways to be able to find those suppliers easily at the moment? Or? Uh, not as easy as it should be, I think. Uh, I mean, you can find them if you if you are aware already, then you <laughs> probably know where to look and you can use the internet to find a good supplier or you can ask in your local store. Yeah, but it's not, yeah. It's no. not as easy as it should be. Yeah, yeah. Great. But well, I think we're getting there, though. Yeah, cool. Well, good to talk to you. Thanks.